Good evening, everyone. Colonel Aldous Valor here with you once again. If you're watching this, then it means that there has been a catastrophic failure, the likes of which the internet has never seen before. If you're lucky enough to watch this on YouTube, it means that my team and I were able to get past the horrible algorithm that's threatening to destroy the world. Now, also, if you're watching this on YouTube, I want you to check along the bottom of the video here and make sure that there are no ads anywhere on the video. I don't know if YouTube's just going to do it or not. If, they, if there are ads down there, then I need you to scroll all the way to the end of the video and then restart it so that you can enjoy this as an ad-free experience. The internet as we know it has been destroyed. The liberals have taken over and it's now a barren, inhospitable wasteland. Wholly unrecognizable from the glory days. When I founded this channel, Jesus Christ, a dozen years ago, the internet was a wondrous place. You could say whatever you needed to say. You could be whatever you needed to be. Those days are behind us. Now, if you say the truth, it upsets people. And if you're not politically correct, it upsets people. And we can't have people upset on the internet. It needs to be an all-inclusive happy place where dreams can come true. The focus of my channel quickly became grinding Christians into powder. And as fun as that was, it served a purpose. At the time, the biggest threat to the internet was the religious right. They went after radio, they went after TV, they were going after the internet next. And then we won that war. That was easy. Now, here we are. And while I haven't changed, the enemy has. You see, I still believe that the internet should be varied and diverse. It isn't supposed to be one voice and one idea. It's supposed to be a network of people with varying opinions. But we're not allowed to have that anymore. Because if you disagree with the narrative, you're canceled. The Trump administration is over. You guys haven't seen me for an entire administration. And, well, I didn't think you needed me anymore. But then things changed. We had the greatest American economy that history has ever seen. And that went to shit. Because everything that the legacy media and social media has done was to get rid of President Trump. And he would have come out smelling like a rose. And then we had the China virus. The China virus shows up and, well, I'm not saying that the China virus wasn't some novel disease that disproportionately affected the elderly and the, and the sick. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that the China virus was overhyped by the media. There's a news director from CNN caught on tape saying as much was overhyped by the media for two purposes. One, to destroy the economy that Trump built by imposing mandatory shutdowns. 
and two, to see just how far Americans are willing to go, how much they're willing to sacrifice, how much freedom they're willing to return to the government in order to remain compliant. You gotta wear a mask. Because my mask protects you, and your mask protects me, and I don't give a shit about you. I'm not wearing it. The media didn't just stop there. No, 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 no. You couldn't come out and say that you were in support of hydroxychloroquine because President Trump liked that, and if it worked, well, it, if it worked, we couldn't let anybody know that while he was still president. We had to wait until he was out before there was a solution. And if you came out in support of hydroxychloroquine, the answer was simple. You were canceled. Now, we have vaccines. Former Vice President Joe Biden is rolling out vaccines across America. But you can't question the effectiveness or the safety of them. They're safe. Get the shot. Agent of Doubt said it best. I mean, he was talking about uh, cigarettes. But he said, Maybe it'll promote more health. But doing things for the good of those people, for them, it doesn't feel right to me. So... I'm sure he'll forget about that line when uh, mandatory vaccinations come about. But of course there are no mandatory vaccinations. You just can't do anything if you're not vaccinated. Can't go to school. Which will, <laughs> of course, force you to live a life of ditch digging and, and I don't know, scooping the puke at a truck stop toilets or mopping up jizz at a peep show. You can't travel without a vaccine. <laughs> and remember, um, a passport is designed to be stamped multiple times, so if you're going to get your, your vaccine passport, prepare yourself to get stuck uh, quite a few times. Anyway, I'm rambling because I don't have anything prepared for this presentation. Just that. The internet's not what it used to be anymore. We let it get this way. And if we don't fight back now, then the internet is as good as lost. We need to vote out the Democrats and the establishment Republicans. Remember the ones who didn't stand up to the 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 the, the forced uh, shutdowns, who didn't stand up to the tyrannical governors. Those establishment Republicans, they all need to be primaried. I <laughs> am considering running for office myself. Because my state representative has been in office for, I don't know, generations, and he replaced his own uncle. It's a fucking dynasty. It's amazing if you look into this kind of shit. Look into your local representative, see how long he's been there, and see what he's done for you. Good news is that. Liberal states have lost some seats in the in Congress, and and uh, conservative states have picked them up. So hopefully there will be a shift in the balance in two years. But that's not going to happen if we just stand idle. There needs to be change, and I can't do it alone. My hope is to become an inspiration for Americans who have had enough of this bullshit. I spent so many years of my life fighting retarded adults that I didn't realize that those retarded adults would pair off and have retarded children. 
children who were told that they were special. And they believed that shit because they were retarded. And then they grew up, and instead of acknowledging the fact that they were human garbage like you and me, they made up gluten sensitivities to make themselves feel special. Because that was trendy at the time. Now it's trendy to be trans, or to have a... <sighs> fursona. And we can't call these kids retarded, because it will hurt their feelings. Twelve years ago, nobody would have batted an eye. You do it today, and that's it. You're silenced. In an effort to get around this bullshit, I'm happy to announce that I am launching AldisValor.com. It's not available yet, but uh, hopefully soon I'll be able to have my own website where you can go to get the kind of content that I just can't make anymore. There'll be interactive things and puzzles and, and, and cartoons and I, I don't know what else. I, I, I haven't really decided, but... Um, It'll also be a place for me to stick uh, videos that don't survive the uh, algorithm here. The bottom line is this. We are witnessing an erosion of freedom in real time. And if we don't do anything to stop it, it'll be too late. We have to act now. I told you to scroll all the way to the end of the video. If you're watching this bit, it means that you sat through the whole thing, or you didn't scroll far enough. Just go on a little bit farther, and then restart it and watch it again.